so this is going to be a quick video about uh, installing a height stop for your Z-stop, a height adjuster. Um, most people keep adjusting their, their level. Level is really the wrong word. Tram. You should, you should tram your bed and then adjust the height. Make sure everything's square and straight and everything. But if you have a height adjuster, you're not sitting there adjusting all the little screws on each end of the bed. You can set your bed, tram it with, with the nozzle, or level it, um, tram it with the nozzle, and then set the height differently. It's the wrong way, wrong way to put it. Okay, this is the only things you need to do. You need to print the arm, the base, and this is just nice little cap to make it easy to manually adjust it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> um, an M3 nut. Can you see the nut? And an M3 bolt. Uh, I think this is a 12 millimeter length. First thing I do with anything like this, this isn't actually assembled, but make sure everything fits. This is preset for the screw, or the nut, excuse me. Go in here, make sure it fits. Do any cleaning should snap right in there pretty nicely. We're going to actually glue it in. Um, my end stop is still on the printer. We'll go over there when I actually install it, but everything looks pretty good. This is probably the most difficult part right here, is getting the nut onto here. Because you have to kind of, it's very tight. Now you want this kind of head, and I can't remember the name. I'll put it up on the video here somewhere. Uh, I keep thinking flathead. It's not a flathead. Machine head. I can't remember the name of it. I will. Um, but you got to get that to fit on there. You might have to clean it up depending on your print. But you want that on there nice and tight. And it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. And get it in there. But it will go if your printer's decent. So you just snapped right in. Now I'm also going to put a drop of glue on it. And that just keeps it from ever falling off. Alright, so you put a drop of glue on it. This is just regular CA glue or super glue or crazy glue or whatever you want to call it. Just so it doesn't fall out. I'm also going to do the same thing with the, the nut here. This is just an arm the base plate and the little cap and again I'm gonna put a drop on the nut just to keep it from falling out and let it sit for a minute now let's go install it okay here's my current one this is actually the same thing um, I've modified it a little bit so I'm gonna change it but this is it um, you basically remove your old one which was this right here and the actual end stop mounted here this mounted to the frame there's no adjustment you had to slide it up and down the frame obnoxious so let's remove it switch out the actual end stop and go from there now again, this is a little different because this is basically the same thing I just did, but there's a few modifications. But yours will be slightly different, more than likely. But the same general idea. So you pull it all apart. Usually they will be, with the 2020 frames anyways, they will be uh, a couple of nuts with a couple of locks. And then the screws and nuts for the end stop. Which I'm also going to have to take out on these. They're embedded. Which the new one does too. This is basically the same thing. It's just a little modified. Okay, the old one's out. Let's mount up the new one. There's the new mount. It's almost exactly the same. It, it, it's very similar. But uh, yours again will likely be more like this. 
But anyway, so we mount it. You want the little, with this particular mount I've designed, you want your flipper to be outside. So let's take, now if you put the screw on the nut and set it in the hole, just push it in there and unscrew it. You can countersink the nut in there before you even start. Pretty nifty, huh? Now the nuts are all pretty countersunk. So now I can take this and it's going to go this away. So let's put a nut through, or a bolt through, excuse me, and thread it in. And mount up our end stop. See, I'm tightening, but I'm literally just using my thumb and one finger to tighten it with. Then we take our arm and we mount it on here. And again, I've pre fitted this, always trying to pre fit everything and make sure it's going to fit and operate. Take our existing nut. In this particular case, pretty sure that's a 10 or a 12. I can't remember. I will find out and write it in the description. Slip it through. Put our little T nut on. Just get it started. Then take the other one, wherever it went, which is right here. This was an 8. I know this is an 8. Again, if you don't have a uh, 2020 frame, you can still do this, but you might have to uh, change this mount. And I will, if uh, you give me dimensions and stuff and how your existing mount is, I'll do my best to help you design one. If, you know, you don't have a 2020 frame, I know there's a lot of like uh, acrylic frames or uh, aluminum frames. But that's basically it. And then mount it up. Slide it on. There's that one. There's that one. And just screw the cap in. And I should probably raise the printer up. Lights. And there you have it. Installed. Now, from now on, you can actually bring the head down. It doesn't matter if it's perfect height wise, but you can get the bed level with the nozzle, which you can't see anymore. I'm set my height. I know I can just do it in the middle with the head. The way this it's all trimmed to fit. So this and the, the bed are on the same plane. So no matter where I move it, I only have to look I only have to adjust my height in one spot. So from now on, not that you can see it down here, but all you have to do is adjust this little wheel to get your height perfect so again once you level your bed or trim your bed you don't have to do it again and you'll always get near perfect or perfect first layers and a bit of head adhesion